audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. We've enjoyed some fabulous conversation all about Europe over earlier days. Let's continue to talk about Europe, Camille, because we've been discussing Europe going off track or cooling down, the slowing of the way that Christianity was influencing Europe. We talked all about the Enlightenment, but what is this thing about liberal theology and how does that look in practice? I think Newton is the one that has this law that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And we'll see this at work again and again. But the Enlightenment of the 18th century, of course, laid the foundation for some of the things we face today. One was the liberal democracy and constitutional government of the U.S. And, of course, that's a positive. But over-reliance on human reason is not positive. And as I've shared it is in contradiction to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Don't lean on your understanding, but trust God with all your heart. What I guess I'm saying is, Neil, you can have human reason. There are reasonable things to uh, ask of the Bible. There are questions that require answers, and there are answers, and good answers. But there will come a point where reason must give way to faith. Because if you don't get to that point, you're going to reason yourself out of faith altogether. What we understand is that the Enlightenment led, in some streams, to a theology that reasoned everything and believed nothing, that rose up in Germany in the 1840s and probably had a resurgence in the early 1900s, again out of Germany, where they questioned everything. Did Matthew really write the Gospel of Matthew? How many people authored Genesis? And they have a a theory on that, several authors. Was there two Isaiahs? Because the the two parts of Isaiah are different. Did Daniel really write Daniel? Because there's so many predictions, literally dozens and dozens of predictions in Daniel, which have all come to pass. There's no way God could have given all that detail. So somebody must have written Daniel centuries later after the fact and pawned it off as a sixth century book. You start teaching that ad infinitum, without any proof, mind you. It's just hypothesizing ad infinitum. It deflates faith. When faith is deflated, there is a falling away. And who knows, Neil, maybe those grand cathedrals across Europe were emptied out because of this kind of thing, this reasoning on steroids. If we take reasoning to its extreme, Camille, we get rid of miracles. We take away the supernatural, and before you know it, you've got to a point where your reasoning takes away God himself. Is that the way you're talking about the way these things snowball, going from bad to worse? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I believe in human reason. I believe in using your brain. I believe in asking questions and learning and growing But there is a side that you will have to trust God. And that's a good thing, not a bad thing. It's not a weak thing. It's not an anti-intellectual thing. Because ultimately, you'll never please God merely by being reasonable or reasoning to the hilt. We learn from Hebrews 11, verse 6, that it's without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith and the future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. Find articles, videos and podcasts from Dr. Camille, plus today's and other episodes of Faith in the Future in the Vision app or at vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au. 